What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another launch box for Android news video and today we've got version 1.6 released ready to go so you can actually download it right now or you can update directly on your Android device. Now with all of our new releases we've got some fixes, some improvements, and some new features. And with LaunchBox for Android 1.6, this is no different. Now I wanna go ahead and just jump right into it because the major new feature for this 1.6 release is a built-in theme downloader for Android. So I'm here in LaunchBox right now. I'm gonna head up to my top left-hand corner, little hamburger menu. When you're fully updated to 1.6, you'll notice we have a manage theme section. So if we head in here, it's going to populate our list of our installed themes that we have right now and our available themes, which is going to consist of new and updated themes. Now, as you can see, as I'm making this video, we've got four that we can download right now. We've got Emblem, Pure, Fair and Startups, and Unified Light. And this just makes it so much easier to get these themes up and running in LaunchBox for Android. So I'm just going to start off here with the Emblem theme. Once we open it up, it's going to give us our details. We've also got a description, theme developer credits. This one's by Farron. And we've also got changes right here, just in case there's been an update for this. We'll get a little bit of media. That way we can take a look at the theme to see if it's something that we'd be interested in installing. And once you've decided if you want to install this theme, we're going to go up to the top right hand corner. We can like the theme. We can install, repair, or get support. I'm going to go ahead and install this one. I think the emblem theme looks really great. So we'll just choose install. It's going to download it for us. It's placed it in the correct directory. And now we have that emblem theme installed. So I'm just going to go with my NES section. So from the top right hand corner, we're going to go to change view. As you can see, I've got a list of all of my installed themes and emblem is listed right here. So there we have it. Really easy to use this installer and it's gonna make life a lot easier to customize your launch box for Android build. Let's go with one more. We're gonna head back to the main menu. From the menu, manage themes. I've got a few more to choose from here but one of my favorites right now is the unified light theme. And again, it'll give us all the information we need to know about it and a really nice look at the theme. I'm going to install. We'll head back to our main menu. And remember, when it comes to the themes for LaunchBox, we can set up a different theme for each platform. I'm going to go with Game Boy here and we'll set up that unified light. From the drop down, change view, unified light, vertical wheel. And yeah, this is one of my favorites right now. I think it looks really good, but this makes it so much easier. That way you don't have to use a separate computer or, you know, a file manager on your Android device to get these themes installed on your LaunchBox for Android build. So that's definitely the biggest addition for 1.6, but we also have some other changes that I wanted to take a look at. Platform metadata can now be edited by choosing Edit Metadata from the Platform Details menu. And to get there, whether you're using a controller or a touch screen, we're going to long press Edit Metadata and now the platform itself can be edited. So before we had no way to do this, but we can edit all of this metadata if we need to. So the title, scrape as, sort title, category. If you needed to do any platform metadata editing, it's now possible in LaunchBox for Android. Another thing we've added here is you can now pick and choose which game images to download. So this is actually really cool. Um, I'm gonna head over to, let's say, N64. So obviously I've already got my artwork downloaded for Aero Gauge here, but if I wanted to change this up a little bit, I can long press or long hold on a button depending on if you're using a controller or not, edit media, and we have the ability to pick and choose from box image, clear logo, game title screen image, gameplay screenshots, and background image. So when it comes to the box image, I'm gonna go ahead and change this real quick. Browse for new games database image. And I'm using the North American image, which is right here. But if we wanted to switch over to the Australian image, German, or even Japan, we can. We'll just go ahead and choose this one. Use as box. And now, we've got that Japanese box art here. So this comes in really handy for customizing all of your platforms. 
And finally here, something that I thought was really neat, if you take a look at my LaunchBox setup right now, you can see as we go from Android on over, you can see that all of my consoles are kind of together by the manufacturer. So we've got NES, Game Boy, N64, Genesis, Dreamcast. So if I had Saturn added here, it'd be right in the middle there. So platforms are now automatically sorted by the manufacturer, console type, and release date. So we've got from oldest to newest, and it's just really cool to have it set up like this. Usually when you imported stuff, it was kind of all over the place, but now this really kind of unifies everything for us. But yeah, we really hope you enjoyed LaunchBox for Android 1.6. And keep in mind, when it comes to that new theme manager, it works on the fly. So we'll update that. More themes will be added. So keep checking back. We've got a lot of stuff in the works right now. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Keep an eye on the LaunchBox forum and the YouTube channel because we've always got new stuff on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.